What is up guys, Sonner from Canadian Rider here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to properly fix your peeling paint protection film. So I just came outside to see the Lexus. It's been about a week since I last drove it. We had a snowfall and all of the paint protection film here from the top, maybe an inch and a half down from the edge line, started to peel up and bubble. So it's the first time I've seen this. I've had paint protection film on all of my cars, but you guys can see here that it's really started to bubble up on the majority of the film. So what we're gonna do today, and I, I've seen this happen to some other cars, but what we're gonna use today is a bunch of tools to go ahead and cut this down because there's no way we're gonna be able to fix this. And I know a lot of other people may say you have to completely remove the PPF film and put a new one on. But in this case, this is my daily driver. This is just meant to get me from A to B. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut down on the paint protection film here a little bit. It's gonna lessen the protection, but at least it's gonna stop it from peeling any further. And it's gonna improve the look significantly on the car. So we're, we're looking at the clear film right now, the paint protection film. And the first thing we're gonna wanna do is take out an X-Acto knife. I know you're gonna be scared about this, but you have to be really careful on how you're gonna use this. Think about where you wanna cut this. And in this case here, because the damage has happened about an inch and a half down from the edge line originally, I'm gonna cut it about two inches down. This is where I'm gonna make my line. Now, what you need to make sure you do, you're gonna show a little bit of the X-Acto knife, okay? You're gonna start at the edge over there, and you need to think about not digging down into your paint and scratching it, otherwise you're gonna scratch your paint. What you actually need to do is just think about scoring it. You're just scoring the film like this. I'm not doing it right now, but I'm gonna show you. You're gonna score the film across. And the other thing to also make note is when you're doing that, this is not a straight line because of the curvature of your hood. So you're gonna to want to follow the curve of the hood as well, just to make the clear bra look like it's flowing in the shape of the hood. It's about here where I'm gonna start it. You know, ignore all the gunk that you might have on your paint protection film. And I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna score, okay? You're gonna feel that you're going through the film. Trust me, you'll feel it, but you don't wanna feel like you're scratching the clear coat. See right now, this is perfect. I'm scoring the film. I'm not scratching the clear. And if you are, by the way, if you do end up scratching some spots, I will show you how we're gonna fix that. But this is about an inch and a half and I'm following the curvature of the hood and I'm scoring the film. I'm scoring the film. And now my first issue that I found. Look at that. I thought, you know, an inch and a half, and I see here, oh wait, the damage is actually further down here. So I'm gonna need to go deeper. And that's perfectly fine. The important thing here that you do is you be conservative on your mark, find out, okay, this is not enough film I need to remove, I actually need to remove more. So I'm gonna start now back here, and this should be okay. So again, scoring the film, not cutting into your clear, get a nice sharp X-Acto knife, and you're gonna try to be with your hands as smooth as possible to follow the curvature of your hood on the hood line. So there we go, now I've made it. I'm coming up here. You can, you know, you could stop and take a break like this and just kind of continue on. So I don't know if you can see this, hopefully you can. I'll try to zoom it in, but the score mark has completely uh, I've made sure there's enough room here. I've obviously gone extra aggressive and I maybe cut off a little bit too much and that's okay still. But the score line is perfect. It's coming right across the hood. You see that curvature. It's still going straight across the hood. This is a really good mark. The scoring isn't perfectly even. That's completely fine because you can adjust that later. It's not an issue. But what you want to done here, and I think I've done a good job, is just that one straight score line across. Again, you can stop at times to make sure that you're in the right angle. So I have some hot water here, just because it's super freezing. And what I want to do is warm up the film so it's just very easy to peel. You obviously don't have to do this if you're in a warm climate, but I'm gonna go ahead and pour some hot water on the film, as so. And again, the only purpose of this is just to make the film a little easier to peel, warm it up to get that glue to unstick, this should be enough. So I'm gonna put that down, and what I'm gonna try to do is peel it just using my fingernail at first to see, you know what, will it come out? And it is. So I'm gonna bring in the camera so you can actually see this and how we're just gonna peel this across. So if you see here, this is where my finger was coming out. This was the first mark that we did that we thought was not enough, and this is the second mark. And see, it just came off that first mark where it scored. 
And now we're just peeling this back. That's it. We're just gonna peel this back slowly. Be careful. What you wanna do is ideally peel like this. 45 degree angle. 45 degree angle to peel. And you're doing it slowly. You do not wanna rip off the paint potentially, depending on how old uh, this paint protection film is. You could, you could potentially peel the uh, paint with a clear coat. Now this is all the sticky stuff that's underneath right there. Just peeling it off slowly. It's getting a little harder. I might need some more hot water soon. It's coming along. It's coming along. And see all this uh, remaining stuff? Oh, this is just the glue. That is just the stuff that's made the paint protection film stick. So I obviously, it's getting hard again for me. So I'm gonna go get some more hot water and take your time doing this. I'm gonna get more hot water, loosen this up. We're gonna peel the rest back. All right, we got more hot water on there. And look at that right away. It feels like it's coming off way easier. So that's why I highly recommend if you're in, look at that, look how easy it is when you put a little bit of that hot water in there. Here we go. It's coming off. Much easier, much, much easier. It's kind of satisfying actually. <laughs> Just peeling it off, peeling it away. And look at this line of dirt and gunk that has developed over time on the paint protection film. I know a lot of people are gonna give me hell for that, but this is my daily driver. I already have too many things to take care of uh, that much. Okay, I'm gonna get that little bit off. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more, it's getting a little harder now here. I'm gonna put a little bit more hot water. That should get it nice and toasty again. Yeah, that's just coming off so easy. Look at that, look at that, it just comes right off, like butter. All right, so now we have all of the bad or the damaged paint protection film off, and now we have a whole bunch of like ugly, gooey, dirt and stuff on top of here. This is good. What we have is clean line down here. I'm really happy with this result actually. We have a lot of the sticky stuff and the goo here and lots of dirt. So we're gonna do one of two things. We are going to use a adhesive remover to remove a lot of this excess gunk. And it's also gonna help clean this up as well because this is a mixture of dirt and adhesive that's come on. Or we can use isopropyl alcohol. But in this case, I'm gonna be using a really good adhesive remover. So I have a microfiber cloth that I have here and I have the adhesive remover. I'm gonna spray the adhesive remover on a quarter way on the hood and I'm gonna spray the rest on the cloth. Great. Now I'm simply gonna take the cloth and rub. And right away, the adhesive is coming off. So all the adhesive from the old film, I just felt coming off really easy. Don't worry too much about the dirt. You're gonna come back on another pass here for the dirt itself. Just worry about spraying this area pretty liberally with the adhesive remover to remove all that gunk. And again, this works better in higher temperatures, not the freezing. This is not ideal by no means. Am I working in ideal circumstances? Highly recommend you do this when it's much warmer out. Because even the adhesive is much harder to remove because of the cold, cold temperatures. Now you see we have the clean line for the clear bra, bra cut or the paint protection film. And we have the area that the film was in, which is now nicely cleaned off. There's no more any tacky stickiness left. There's no dirt or residue, but we still do have this dirt line here um, with the tacky residue line. So you can tackle this one of two ways. You can continue using the specialty adhesive remover, which is what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna get another microfiber cloth because this one's kind of gunked up now. And you're really gonna have to tackle this by removing it with that. Or in another way you could use is alcohol, or you could use a steam cleaner and steam this up to remove this gunk. In this case, this has been pretty good. So I'm gonna continue using this and we're gonna be scrubbing off this part. So here, I'll show you just quickly with this towel, what would happen if I scrub it off with the adhesive remover. 
it's coming off slowly. You can see right there. Already, we're making ways. And we've broken through. So I'm gonna go get a clean microfiber. We're gonna come back and take off this entire line from the hood. So we've gone ahead, everything's cleaned up here now. What I've also done is I put hot water all over this. The one thing we wanna make sure, the 3M uh, adhesive remover, we wanna make sure that chemical is not actually impacting this line. So I've gone ahead and cleaned this up. Now what you're gonna notice, and you're gonna see in these shots as well, is that there is a little bit of marring from where we were scrubbing off all of that stuff, and that's perfectly fine. So what I have in my hands right now is a Porter Cable Dual Action Polisher and some Meguiar's Ultimate Polish. I'm gonna be using a machine polish here with a three inch polishing pad. You don't necessarily have to use this. You could honestly probably hand polish it because the marring isn't major. Also, I'm gonna be linking in the card above how to actually polish your car. You're gonna see this is not gonna take more than two minutes to do this properly, or you can do it by hand. All of these products, again, are gonna be linked in the description box down below. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start polishing off here, just the marring, making sure I am not contacting this pad to the edge line here, potentially lifting anything or putting polishes in here. So once we're done with this, we're gonna buff it off and we're just gonna cover it with a nice wax or sealant. Maybe a pea size here, pea size here, three peas, that's it. And we're just gonna polish the line. So I'm just gonna put this here. And I'm gonna be using setting five on this polisher. This is the three inch white Lake Country pad. So that's polished out. You wanna do about three to four passes because it's not that major in terms of the scratching or the marring. And look at that. It's gone ahead and taken off any of that marring marks that you saw in the video that I put the clip up of. But now this is nice and clean. This is really good. So now all we're gonna do, the last step, is we're gonna protect the finish. We're also gonna make sure we put a wax on here. You can also use a ceramic. I don't have a ceramic handy right now, so I'm just gonna use a wax. And we're gonna just put a wax here. It's gonna cover this up, and then your paint protection film is good to go. I just have some trusty uh, Meguiar's Gold Class wax. And what I'm gonna do as well, you're gonna see, I'm gonna put the wax on here a little bit, and I'm gonna come up. I just wanna come up. I don't wanna go on into the edges and really stick the wax in the edges of the paint protection film. And this is gonna help keep all that dirt and that buildup from accumulating on the edge of this film. Great. We're gonna leave this on for about 20 minutes and we're just gonna buff off and we're done. So that is how you fix your peeling paint protection film on your car. If this video you found helpful, give it a big like and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. A lot more detailing videos on the channel. A lot of videos of this Lexus IS350 as well. But this is gonna go ahead, make sure that the paint protection film that hasn't been ruined is gonna stay on the car and I'm gonna keep getting value out of it. I don't have to go buy a whole new paint protection kit to apply in this car because the reality, the majority of it was working fine. If you have any questions again, leave them in the comment box down below. And yes, I will be linking all the products I used today in the description box down below as well. I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.